Hello Physics Nation, my name is Nate Larmond. I'd like to do a Khan Academy set from Freefall, Graphs, and Conceptual Questions. Violet throws a ball down from a bridge and it strikes the water below. We can ignore air resistance. What is true about the acceleration and speed of the ball on its way down? Both acceleration and speed remain constant. That one doesn't make any sense. You know when you throw something down, it's going to get faster, faster, faster. The acceleration decreases and the speed decreases. Well, again, we know it's not going to slow down after it leaves your hand. It's going to speed up. So hang on. <laughs> Does only one of these say speed increases? Well, that's, I don't know, unfortunate. That means there's only one logical choice based on speed, and you don't even need to understand acceleration. So this is a poorly written question. That's OK. Um, let's take a look at my handwritten solution. So you know, they play tricks on you. Um, we've spent a lot of time knowing the difference between speed and velocity. So speed is just motion. Velocity is motion in a particular direction. Uh, you would have a non-zero y-intercept and the speed would go up and up and up. Here you would have a negative y-intercept and it appears as though the velocity is decreasing. It is not. Okay, this is slow and then as you go deeper into the fourth quadrant you get faster and faster. Khan and I have sort of a disagreement about this. Khan says this is a decreasing pattern. I say no. Negative 10 meters per second is faster than negative 5 meters per second. Uh, anyway, if gravity is the only significant force acting on an object, you can assume the acceleration to be negative 9.8 meters per second per second or negative 10 meters per second per second. Why? Well, acceleration is directly proportional to force. And so if there's only one force, there must be an acceleration. You can't have balanced forces if there's only one force. And so all projectile motion is accelerated motion. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.